Good morning. It's Janquetta Cunningham with Carrie's group. And we are here on Thursday to discuss uh, connecting with African American donors in today's Learning with Carrie's uh, session. And if you are uh, just a regular of Learning with Carrie's, thank you. And the purpose of Learning with Carrie's is to share, briefly share, some quick tips and advice and pearls of wisdom that will help you as a nonprofit community or a business leader. So again, today's session topic will be connecting with African-American donors. And we'll get started in a few. Just trying to share on my phone <laughs> as well. And I hope you all are having a great Thursday. We'll keep stopping. So I'm gonna share it now and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. And uh, hello, Miss Pam, how are you? I can see it now. I have to go back to my Zoom so I can see my video. <laughs> Is it acting up on my phone? Okay, so again, it's a Thursday, Learning with Karis. Uh, the purpose of learning with Harris again is to share um, tips, advice, and nuggets so that the great work that you could do be impacted and carried uh, further um, in your everyday to uh, better and serve the lives of others with the great community work that you do. And I know as leaders, we are often bogged down with so much um, that it's kind of uh, a great, you know, space to just be able to learn and to grow and to just maybe get some advice that we may have overlooked in our day to day um, in our uh, busyness again, of serving others, of running an organization or a business. So I definitely get it. And I thank you uh, for joining with me. And uh, we are going to get started. I'm just trying to look one more time to ensure that my video is working. Okay, awesome, we're set to go. All right, we're gonna turn it down. And so let me hit record. All righty, so again, Shanquetta Cunningham with the Caris Group. And on today's uh, Learning with Caris, we will be discussing connecting with African-American donors. Now, I understand that as a nonprofit leader, if you have a fundraising campaign and funding director, and you have been excelling in reaching your fundraising goals, that it's probably a topic to which you may not have considered um, and to really ask yourself, am I connecting to Afri African-American donors? And if not, how may I do so? Uh, actually, we will be discussing this uh, for the rest of this month. So today you will get part one. And so in part one, I really just want to speak to a little bit of the impact that African Americans have made in the world of philanthropy. Uh, to, you know, we kind of consider, not we, but society kind of considers, um, let me rephrase that. Society has characterize African Americans more so as the beneficiaries of philanthropy and community given and, and not have regarded um, African Americans in their rightful space as community givers. And so since the inception of this nation, and of course before um, African Americans um, were uh, brought to this, uh, to this country, um, this has been the DNA of the African community. And so philanthropy is not taboo to the African American community. It is not an anomaly, but is in fact just in, in ingrained and it's so um, inviting and enriching within the community. And whether that was forcefully or willful, willfully, African Americans have always contributed to uh, this nation 
um, the Southern economy um, was built upon the African American community. And from just the so many aspects, whether we are talking uh, from uh, the wars that were fought in this country, whether we're talking about different movements, um, and it's always been African Americans at the hem of giving through churches, through uh, networks, through associations, and as individuals. And so whether that was uh, financially, whether that's with your time or their time or resources, African Americans have always been a part of the philanthropic community. And so one of the things that I would just like to share is just to dispel the myths of uh, African Americans as being an only beneficiaries, uh, but truly look at um, African Americans in the light of giving um, as the community should be viewed at, uh, viewed upon. And so when you hear of philanthropists, uh, let's do some notable, uh, notable philanthropists such as Oprah Winfrey or you know LeBron James or um, um, Common, I'm just trying to think of people that you may know as well. Uh, you know, there's the rest, rest in love, Cicely Tyson and Tyler Perry. Um, there have just been Melody Hobson. I mean, honestly, I could go on and on. There are notable African-Americans that you know, and it, it may seem like it's an anomaly of, of, of these gener generosity, um, acts of generosity, but again, it's just common culture. And so as nonprofit leaders, if we are not intentionally, um, you know, seeking for, we, ha we have a, a visitor, but if we're not intentionally seeking um, to include African Americans in this process and in a part of your funding campaign, then you're really missing out on the group. We have a, we have a visitor. <laughs> uh, the impact that this group can make. And so one of the tips I would like to share with you that as you are considering um, reach, not as considering, but as you should consider um, to work with this group, I got them, thank you. Uh, that one of the first things that we have to uh, just remember that it's not enough to say, hey, we need to ask more black people to give money, right? That's just, that, that's, not the, that's not the strategy. But the strategy is to figure out if our programs, if our board representation, is uh, our staff representative of the groups that we are trying to patronize? Because to just ask for something from the community with no um, intentional action plan to include them and in how you operate with your nonprofit and also how you um, give out your programs or your services, um, again, it does a disservice and it's a disrespect to anyone. You know, who would like to be approached? You're always asking, 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 and there is nothing on the return end of that. So number one, I would encourage you to be intentional about how you internally um, operate and assess if you are actually contributing to the very community to which you want to ask funds from. And so connecting with African-Americans or with Hispanic Americans or with women or with um, Asian Americans, uh, you have to be intentional to ensure your programs and your board makeup and your organization makeup, again, are inclusive of that community. The second tip I would like to share, briefly share, since we have a, an interrupter <laughs> uh, with you, when we're talking about connecting with African American, uh, the African American community, is to ask. You know, it's not enough to just say, hey, we're going to have a board member, a black board member, and we're doing our part. Uh, you need to really, again, the word here is intentionality. So to connect with the African-American communities, we really um, need to ensure that we are uh, uh, involving them in the process, whether you want to do a survey, um, a, a stakeholders meeting, but ask the hard questions. Like if you do not have any African-Americans donating to your organization, it's not probably because they don't want to donate. Are we um, you know, going to those spaces and to include them in the ask? Are we sending funding campaigns and messages uh, <laughs> you know, to the community or to community members? Are we asking other people to partner with us uh, from the African American community? Those are um, some of the ways we're intentional. You have to go to the community you wanna reach. And then not just you go to them, but you figure out how to grow with them. That's just important, again, as we're connecting with African-American donors. And so um, the two points, again, I just wanna reiterate on today 
and this will be a four-part series uh, this month of connecting with African-American donors, is to one, you know, ensure you are intentional um, in meeting with, uh, with African-American leaders, um, groups, um, and also to ensure that you are your programs, your staff, your board, it's representative of the community you want to reach. Um, okay, I think we're getting sleepy. Those are very important as we connect with African American donors. Um, and as you are growing your funding, uh, your your fundraising, growing your fundraising, but also it's how you grow in your programming. And inclusivity has to be intentional. So I would like to repeat that inclusivity has to be intentional. And uh, so on today, Learning with Karis, we just covered um, just some basics and I hope that the nuggets shared with you will aid you as you're revisiting your funding model, as you're revisiting your internal structure on how you can connect more with African-Americans um, is to be intentional in that connection and to ensure your programs are reflective and are, will benefit uh, the people that you would like to contribute to your um, nonprofit. And so on that, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> this is my son, Junior, <laughs> uh, on today with Learning with Karis. Uh, meet me every Thursday here at 11.30, at 11.30 a.m. for nuggets uh, to help better serve you as a nonprofit leader, um, as a community leader. Also, I would like to add, if you go to www.consultcaris.com, forward slash nonprofit summit. Registration is open. I'm happy to announce that Tony Thomas will be our keynote speaker. Uh, you all literally can Google him. He's phenomenal. He's a CEO for the city of Jonesboro. And we are excited to have him speak and along with our other roster of speakers that will be shared on the website uh, shortly. But please go to www.consultcaris.com. Register for the 2021 nonprofit yeah. summit, which will be virtual um, on this year. And it also on the site, you can find information on how to enter for the $1,000 nonprofit pitch competition. Last year, we were able to award the Arkansas Early Learning Center and the uh, Mission of Northeast Arkansas um, as our nonprofit pitch winners. And so we're happy to be able to do that yeah. again um, as well. And uh, I think that's all of the announcements. So again, meet me next Thursday. We will continue part two of connecting with African-American donors. Um, in hopes that we can be more intentional um, and inclusive and in not only how we operate in our programs, but oh, excuse me, also how we fundraise. All righty, thank you all again. You all have a great morning and thank you. If you've stuck with me with Junior. I appreciate your patience. <laughs> um, and uh, it's the life of uh, a working mom. All righty, you all have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.